why I had to start over. Just looking at me. <laughs> it is May 13th. Back in the mountains. Pulling some out that we cut back in the winter. I didn't record any because that's a little busy. But we got seven 12 foot logs and two farwood, three farwood logs out of these two trees. We got that monstrosity. And then we got that mess. And then there's one there. And then two in there, I think. Uh, yeah. Ain't that right? I think that's right. Yeah. I got the boss with me. Wanna say hi? Hey, boss. But, uh, uh, he ain't camera shy. He just aggravating me. Using the old goat again. Pulled the first one out with the little tractor. Yeah, that was fun. These are little two dog legged crooked. For those that don't know what dog leg is. To sell as logs, I won't do that anymore. It ain't right. And I want to be right. We got some more there to get out. And then a little update. Once we get them out and cleaned up. View of the mountains off in the distance. We're going to start back in. Down there past the splitter to the left over here. Start cutting some more of this out. To make pasture. For this fall. Try to get it fenced in. Blackberries are blooming everywhere. Even found some red raspberry briars on that hill. I hate it for them. The camera's showing it to be lighter than what it is, more daylight. It's actually getting rather dark. Yeah, got remnants of a storm off over that way. Which we had some good heavy rain. So you can see the mountain off in the distance. It's just absolutely beautiful up here. The mountains, the hollow we live in, comes down through there and out. We own that ridge all the way up across, back over, up across the top of this one, and then it shoots way out over yonder and goes down over there. Small farm. My dream. Nobody else's, don't seem like. Down in there behind the trees, you can't see, but if you look back in earlier videos, you can probably see. There's houses everywhere. Hopefully, this fall, or before fall, will be a hay shed there. What's so funny? <laughs> With a wood shed on the side. Uh -huh. Keep laughing, you're going to be the one walking her after us with theirs. Yeah. My buddy, who came and helped me, let me walk across the flat here. Yeah, this is called a flat. See, it's flat ground. Ain't that a flat? Mm -hmm. like an oval. Uh, laid on its side. An oval laid on its side. Hmm. Yeah, looky here. He just happened to point out right a doe. Right there. There's a few older ones. Right there. Right there's one. There was some cone tracks up here a week ago. But anyway, quit looking at the ground. The halo doesn't have any sides, but she's got a roof, finally.
It's dead. I hit an owl. I do too. But I heard an owl. Still got there all the way down and around to down in there to clear. I've always wanted a small farm. <laughs> I don't know if I was cursed or blessed with this place. But the Lord provided, and here I've got. But I'm starting from scratch. There's no fences on this property. Hardly any of this was cleared. That little bit was dug out. Of course, I've added to it, and I dug out for the barn with that little tractor. We cut all this off all the way around and then all the way back down to the garage you can see the other building over at the other house i noticed the other house i've got two houses here well double wides mobile homes whatever you want to call them you can see the neighborhood oh <laughs> yeah yeah. My son's up here trying to see who's watching TV down in there. A little stalker. Got to get in here and cut that poplar tree. Right there. Got to cut it. Got to come down and get... Where is it? There it is. This one. Let me get my hand out of the way. This one here. And that one there. And then there's a dead one right there. And all that is from my horse and goat. Scraping. Scraping, gnawing, chewing, eating. And sister asked to bet about it because her horses were doing the same stripping barking eating it and they said there was a mineral that they were lacking in their diet and i reckon the only way they can get it is by eating tree bark here's there was that owl gear yeah sound like a big old barn now well there's a place far with we missed we got this cut and split. I didn't get no video of that. I'm slacking on the videos, I know. But I'm gonna start doing some more. Of course, all I got is my phone. And I'm not doing this for any other reason than I want to. Yeah, for the fun of it. Somebody might like them. If you don't, you don't. If you do, you do. Hey, we enjoy doing them. Uh, we got that cleared out. And it's further than you realize. I hear him. I hear that bird over throwing a pit too. And then I just heard a kid. There's an owl up in there somewhere on that other ridge. You think? Anyway, he's up in that gap there somewhere. Here. He? Oh. <laughs> but that's tonight. It's Monday. I'm going to try to work up here every evening. What? He laughs every time I say something like that. Of course, some evenings I might not get in from work in time. Yeah. Because I am back to building, of all things, snow plows at work. Snow plow trucks, excuse me. And these logs, yes, I make money with these logs. Not a lot, a little. It helps to pay bills, helps to pick up the lumber and the materials we use here. And some of it's going to go to my new granddaughter who was born on the 7th of May because the only thing my daughter and her man have asked for is a stroller. And Papa's going to 
do what he can. Which will be get him a stroller. So, yeah. A little, little family thing there. See the boss over there. Our little Romeo. Pretty boy, whatever you want to call him. He's gotten lazy on me since I ain't been able to work much up here. We did get the big brush pile burnt. Didn't get any video of that, sorry. It was during a rainstorm. I wouldn't get my phone out for it. If I had a camera that was waterproof, I would, but I don't. Watch, son. They seen a rattle, killed a rattlesnake in Bandy today at a guy's house. Yeah, snakes are starting. <laughs> And right now, I don't have to worry about baby copperheads because they are born in the fall. In the spring is rat snakes, which looks like a copperhead and is mistaken for one quite often. Black snakes look good. Black snakes look good here. I catch garters and ground snakes and stuff like that and little black racers and whatnot, and he likes to play with them. That's why I don't catch them very often. He's not bringing them in the house. We got enough cats in the house to take care of now. From your, I would wipe out some of the cats. And your stepmother and sister would kill us. You caught it. That's my excuse. You caught it. But that is going to my dad. Might be two loads there on the old goat. But I, I don't know. Might be. Be heavy loads if they are. And then probably these poplars will go. We burn poplar. I don't mind it. A lot of people want all hardwood. Me, my dad, and a few of us will burn whatever we can get. If it makes the house warm, we'll do it. Something else we're going to try to do this fall, put in a wood furnace at both houses. He's over here grimacing. I don't know why I do it all. Because wherever the heat's on, Dylan likes to open up the window. Well, Dylan graduates this year. I have two boys graduating this year, Dylan and Jake. Up. Let me get that right, Jacob. Jay is my son. Dylan is my youngest stepson. Both of them are graduating this year. I love the thoughts of that. This one's going to graduate, or I he won't be living no. to worry about it because in my house you either graduate high school or you don't breathe no more mm. because it's very important you have an education yeah. so you can do better than your dumb old daddy who's worked all his life okay i'll just make sure to get a master's degree and then like go with some cover. coal mines <laughs> that's a dying breed around here yeah, unfortunately yeah, been there done that not. I've worked coal mines, gas wells, logging, timbering, running equipment now, driving trucks, snow plows, mechanicing, fabricating, or fabric cobbling. I think black one, long form from when you suck in coal dust. And coal dirt and stuff, <laughs> yeah. Well, that's my video. It's running a little long, just to be running my mouth. The little... Husqvarna 55's doing good. Husqvarna. Husqvarna, I'm a redneck hillbilly, son. Husqvarna. I laugh and tell everybody I'm white trash, blue collar redneck. I work, I enjoy hunting and fishing and running around. And I live in a mobile home, which everybody considers you white trash. Yeah, and we, what about other people's opinions? Yeah. Care less. My videos aren't edited. And Gabe has his own channel. Oh, yeah, I don't post. I don't post. He don't post very often, though, yeah, but he's he going to. Because he took a wild ride in the goat, and he's got the camera on the inside. I don't know what he got, but, yeah. He's sitting there watching your door shut. We kind of got hung, and I had to cut the tree. 
the truck shook a little because it's under pressure because we're cutting back up. A little, that last one was just back of my hand in the seat. <laughs> As we was pulling the log out. So, yeah, we had fun. If anybody wants to know, yes, that's a newer truck. Yes, I paid the payments on that truck. Yes, that truck is going to earn its keep, and I could care less what you think. I bought it to work. Not set in the yard and look pretty. Not be some kind of race truck. I bought it to do a job. Its job is to do what I need done. So far, so good. It does need a service, though. So, it's getting dark, as you can tell. Even the camera's starting to show how dark it's getting, even though it's twice that dark out here without the camera. It's 8.51. 8.51. Yeah. I'm supposed to get in bed at 9 o'clock, so I can get up at 4.30 in the morning. So, with that, everybody have a great night, a great week. Be thankful for what you've got. And always remember it could be worse. Try to be nice to each other and courteous. Say hi to somebody. Speak to them. You never know. They may be down in the dumps and you saying hi may just be all it takes to brighten their day and get them out of the funk that they're in. <laughs> It's night, son. It's cloudy. If it wasn't cloudy, it'd still be daylight for a little bit. A little bit more daylight than what it is. But try to be nice to each other. Help each other. You see somebody that needs help? Help them. I mean, what is it? It's a few minutes out of your day. I mean, come on. And we're getting to where there ain't many people around that'll help anymore. So, with that, good night, y'all. Have a great one. We'll see you on the next one.